Hi, Ray. Uh, thanks a lot for taking time out of your schedule and making yourself available for this call to go over your FE exam preparation journey, FE electrical and computer exam preparation journey. So uh, first of all, congratulations on passing that uh, exam. Um, when, did you, when did you graduate, Ray? I graduated in uh, December, 2015. So you were about six years out of school when you took the FE? Yes. Right. And uh, you mentioned you had basically attempted it twice, right? So when was your first, first attempt in 2020? My first attempt was 2017. Okay. And uh, your recent attempt was in 2021, correct? Yes, 2020, end of 2020. Nice. And um, during both attempts, you were working full-time, I assume? Yes. Right. So I, most commonly students say that, okay, working full-time with team and then preparing for the exam is difficult. But I would say that majority of the students actually are in that profile. And that's probably what makes it the most difficult, right? Because you really don't have too much time to prepare for the exam after a, a full day work and then personal commitments yeah. as well. Ray, how would you walk me through your FE exam preparation journey? What worked for you? What didn't work for you? How you came up with your schedule, the resources you used? how effectively use them and um, essentially an overview of going from point A to point B, a summary basically. Well, okay. Initially when I um, started on my first attempt, um, I probably did uh, underestimated it. You know, um, I, I just bought one book, which was a PPI book. Um, you know, and I just started going into it. I didn't have any uh, good time management and I didn't get as much of um, practice problems as I was hoping to. And uh, by the time I had set my first FE exam, I had I was running out of time, you know, so I'm just skimming through the book. You know, I, I'm, I'm thinking it's probably not that hard. You know, I understand, I'm, I'm, I most likely have underestimated it and I didn't get the results. Uh, that I wanted for my first attempt. And then, um, you know, and I spent a lot of time too. And because of the mismanagement of my time, I spent a lot of that time in a circular motion of reviewing after reviewing, but not going any, getting anywhere, you know. And, um, you know, and I was very discouraged about that. I was trying to do it on my own. And, um, you know, and then, you know, I, I have social media, my Facebook. Eventually, I saw um, advertisement from from your uh, studyfe.com. And, you know, I, I was encouraged, you know, I'm looking into it. Um, and, um, you know, I, I joined your um, one of your conferences. And I was very encouraged, you know, you again to step back in it. And um, you provided right away a uh, uh, a good uh, motivation and a set of um, uh, tools that I can use, especially time management. And you had, you know, your books on your website. So now I felt like I had more tools that I can use, plus the time management, plus the motivation to get back at it. And um, when I finally started digging into your program to study for FE, I was diff definitely more uh, efficient with my time. Um, I felt like I was going somewhere instead of just going in circles. Oh, oh I got to review this again. And, yeah. you know, um, I, I had a set of plan now and right off the bat, I, I was able to set my, so I initially found your study FE, let's say summer of 2020. And then I set my exam around December, end of December. And at first, you know, I, I was, you know, uh, specul I was I was speculating that I might not meet that date because this is my first time joining your, you know, your course. And, but because of the tools that you provided, I was able to get through it right away within six months um, and, and pass the exam. That's nice, that's very impressive, Raymond. So a couple of lessons, I guess, from there, are uh, never give up, okay? If right, you want right. to work as a technical engineer, okay? It's funny, I mean, in a lot of my interviews, I explain this term technical engineer because, you know, uh, as an engineer, you can take your career in 
so many different directions, okay? You can get into management, you can get into some sort of a sales role, you can get into uh, application support, but if you're working as a technical engineer and you wanna grow in that role um, and at least spend some time uh, doing the technical work, the design work, commissioning, um, uh, site support, anything that is related to um, core engineering, then you're better off sticking with your goal of getting the PE license because in the long run, it's going to pay off. And we are going to get back to this point at the end of the call as to how the FE exam has helped you in your career so far. Um, but you didn't give up, okay? And in fact, from 2017, that's when you took the first attempt, made the first attempt, and then you got back in, into it in 2020, right? And so it, yes. takes a, it, tell, it tells me a lot about you, right? Because um, it, 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 can, yeah, it can shatter your confidence. Um, and then you're essentially starting from scratch all over again, right? Because whatever knowledge you gained during your preparation in 2017, you really don't carry it over right. after three years, right? It's almost starting from beginning, but I'm glad that you found the course helpful and then it provided you the structure and um, you were able to then pass the exam in the first attempt. And at that point in time, you were like five, six years out of school as well. So anything you learn in school essentially is a distant memory as well. And you really need to go in deeper in order to make sense out of all of those things. Um, so effective exam preparation resources um, is also key. And then the second point I was going to mention is that I think after your first attempt, you were pretty self-aware of what your strengths and weaknesses are and what is working for you, what's not working for you, right? Um, as to how you can bring about the efficiency. You had a good handle on, okay, you know what? I'm spending too much time. I'm going in circles. Um, so something different needs to be done, right? And uh, so you, 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 you had a good understanding of how you were progressing. So that's great as well. And that gives you confidence, right? Um, in terms of, in terms of your exam day experience, like they're underprepared, overprepared, or just uh, all perfectly prepared for the exam. Uh, did you feel like you had a good handle? We cannot go through any well, exam specific questions, but what were you feeling yeah. like? Yeah, on that day, all I knew was I did my best, you know, I, I've great. done all your word, pro, um, your problem book, your study guide book. You had about, what, 700 problems. I did all the problems. So you used the second edition of the study guide as well, the black and blue one. Right, yeah. Okay. I know you had at the time you sent out your most up-to-date, and that's what I was really motivated to. You had, you know, up-to-date or near date of the specifications of the exam. Right. And that's what I kind of encouraged me to because I didn't want to keep using old um, resources and right. you know might be out, outdated and um, the updated resources really motivated me too and um, on the day of the exam I knew I had done my best I had done four practice exams three of it right. was which and you three of it was your um, sources and then one the NCS NCES practice exam and I was happy when you had your um, computer practice exam too because that definitely set the tone Nice. Yeah, in the email, you mentioned that you had practiced over a thousand problems. And that's exactly yeah. right, because 700 plus problems from the second edition of the study guide. Then you have three times 110 problems from the books. Then right. one times 110 problems from the computer simulated practice exam. And then a bunch of problems in the course. I would say it's probably close to 1500 problems when it's all said yeah. and done, right? And I also like your attitude that during the game day you basically gave it your best shot and you didn't overthink it so you kept things simple right and it worked yes. out for you uh, in terms of um, any advice fascinating who are not sure about taking the FE exam and I also use this word intimidated um, about taking the exam what's what's your recommendation how to get over it what type of resources to use and how to plan yeah definitely the 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 most difficult aspect is uh, besides starting is uh, <laughs> retaining it every day. And um, it's always good to have to start off by just setting ca uh, a calendar, you know, especially yeah. the one that in your course has provided. Um, it, it gets very int intimidating for everybody, especially for me. When I'm looking at the entire, the entire thing, the PE, yes. I'm taking on the PE, it's going to be so hard. 
But if you slice it up into your calendar where, hey, I'm taking on, you know, per week, just this section, sectionalize it, you know, uh, what's that saying? Um, uh, divide and conquer. Yeah. Yeah. Divide and conquer. Divide and conquer. <laughs> yeah. divide and yeah. conquer and set, you know, small goals. Start with your small goals. Because if you're going to look at the whole, the whole thing, the whole it's mountain, overwhelming. It's overwhelming. you're going to be overwhelmed. So just set small yeah. hills. And exactly. that that's my best um you know one of my uh, my recommendations for the students just don't look at the whole mountain set small hills to climb nice and why would you a free electrical online course and the study guide i definitely recommend for me being a full time i can set my own schedule um i know there's different uh courses out there where uh it's live and it's two to three hours and it's a set time I can't be that consistent, you know? Um, there are days where I just can't study because either work, stress, uh, other commitments, but there are also some days where, wow, I got extra time today. I can do yes. extra amount of study. So it kind of balances yeah. out. So for me, I can, it, it allows me to study whenever I want at my pace. And, um, and, and that allows me to sustain it per my uh, calendar that I had set up. Nice. And in terms of the coverage of the course, the delivery, the quality, um, the level of details, you think that was sufficient to give you the confidence and take the exam and pass it in the first attempt? Yes, definitely. Uh, you said that, you know, you have different parts of your videos. You go from part one, part two, where most of part ones are introductory, which is good because if, if you're going to start from scratch, I want to know from the most basic thing, what's the definition of what I'm studying right now. Yeah. Um, and then later you, you, you go deep enough where, you know, it can set the tone for me to start doing the practice problems um, because um, sometimes even way more too much information for me too. That's why, but I do watch your videos multiple times. If right. I feel like there was a lot of information in that, in that video, um, but it's up to it's up to the students of um, what how much risk they want um, right. to go up to the test. But you know it's always best to try to get as much information as possible. And in terms of the coverage, you think the course covered everything that uh, you needed for, for the FE definitely. Okay. Yes, sounds good. And my last question is: How has passing the FE helped you with your career in such a short span of time? Oh yeah, uh, so it definitely boosts my um, my confidence in myself, in my career, and also the uh, my coworkers, my boss, in their outlook of me. Um, and like you mentioned, and I mentioned, I, they did give me a raise. It was just right on time. Around January was when they were giving out raises, and and that's when I had December the month before was when I had passed it. You perfectly timed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. And uh, and right now you're uh, preparing for the B-Power exam with me. And I look forward to seeing you through um, until the end of your B-Power exam preparation and your entire B-Power, uh, your B licensing journey. So again, congratulations on this significant achievement in your career, Raymond. And I wish you thank best you. of luck for your future career endeavors. Okay, thank you. And thank you for all the efforts at uh, making your your product <laughs> definitely well, I help. I appreciate it. Thank you.